Um, I just thought I'd share this with you. We've started selling these uh, wooden mouldings in the shop, which are absolutely beautiful for sticking onto pieces of furniture and then decorating as part of the furniture. So this is one that I did earlier and I've painted it in the French sheet Lady Grey. And what I'm going to do now is to tape off one half of it and dry brush it using the um, Lazy Range Whitey White, just to show you what that looks like. And then take the tape off, tape over the other side and do it in the gold so that we can have a look and see what the effect is like. So I'm just going to start sticking these things on. So Here's my frog tape. This is the nicest tape in the world. It is so good for stopping bleed through. So I'm just going to mark off there roughly halfway down. It doesn't have to be too precise. There we go. And then I'm going to dip my brush into the pot. I only want the very smallest bit, so I'm going to wipe it off as much as I possibly can. And then I've got some newspaper here. I'm just going to wipe off again as much as I can, blot it so that my brush is practically dry. I want hardly anything on here. Less is definitely more. But I'm going to use a bit of kitchen paper and just really, really, really wipe that off. And then, using a very gentle flicking action, I'm just going to wipe across the tops of the raised moulding bits so that it defines the very leading edges in the white. And it just gives it a little bit of a, a lift and some definition. I really like dry brushing. I think it's um, a nice way of adding an effect without having to do too much to it. So I don't know if you can see that now, how it's beginning to um, have some very pretty definition. So that's done with the white. So we'll finish with that one now. And I'll take that piece of tape off. You can probably see it more clearly now. And then I'll put another piece of tape across over the side that I've already done. I would normally leave it a little bit longer to dry, but as there's so little paint on there, I don't think it's going to come to any harm. So I'll just put that over the top. And I'm going to do the same, but using the um, gorgeous gold. And this is the Frenchine. This is um, the powders that you can mix with the finishing coat to go over mouldings and leading edges, etc. And I like to mix a little bit of sexy silver in with the gold, gorgeous gold to make it a slightly more antique gold colour. So here is one that I made earlier. I can get the lid off. And it'll keep for absolutely ages in one of these pot plastic pots. And then if you do need to add more, you can. Um, you can add more liquid if it's gone a bit dry and a little bit more powder if it's gone too wet. So this is just about right actually. So I'm just going to dip my brush into that. And again, scoop off some of that, put it onto some tissue paper so that it's really, really dry. Just dabbing off the worst of it. And then using my um, model here again, just going over the very edges so that it just picks up the detail. And then we can see what they both look like. It's a good way of doing it so that you can then work out when you come to doing a piece of furniture which colourway you prefer. And it's just as easy as that. Lightest detailing possible and then anything that is raised will pick up that little bit of paint. So if you can see that now and if we now take that off and you can see how difference is. Actually with Lady Grey I love both of those colours. I would be spoilt for choice and I would now decide whether I was just going to put some white wax over it, some defining wax, but probably I would just use clear wax and um, that would then show the colours through to the maximum effect. So that's my little go with dry brushing on these beautiful mouldings. Thanks for listening. Bye!